You know, I've been a priest almost 16 years, and I have to be honest with you that it's still very intimidating to me to stand in front of a crowd this size. And I know that I have a window that you're going to listen for probably this long, and if something catches you, you'll listen a little longer. But if I don't, I suppose, whet your appetite, so to speak, you're going to tune me out. And that's not particular to anyone here. That is just particular to human nature. That's how we are. And so when I was praying early this morning and I knew that I was going to be addressing a full church, I said to the Lord, what do I say to them? And he said, tell them that I love them. And that even though maybe some of them don't know me, I know them each personally. I know each and every one of them personally. And I want them to know me. And for some strange reason, this song came into my head. I'm going to date myself now. It's a song by the monkeys <laughs> called I'm a Believer. And I couldn't get this, you know, hey, hey, with the monkeys <laughs> out of my head. And so I thought to myself, you know, I'm seasoned enough to know that when that kind of stuff happens, Somehow, the Holy Spirit is trying to get my attention, so I went online and I looked up the lyrics to I'm a Believer. And lo and behold, I was amazed. I was amazed. And I want to share some of these lyrics with you because it was just an indication and confirmation to me of the number of ways that God is trying to get our attention. Now I know that there are some of the, there's a lot of people in church this morning who remember the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, see? And so you remember this song, I'm a believer. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. That's coming from a person who's looked for love in all the wrong places. That's why Mick Jagger couldn't get any satisfaction. <laughs> it's true, you know. It's true. You see, when you look for love in all the wrong places, you're going to be disappointed. And that's exactly what the lyrics say. I thought love was only true in fairy tales, meant for someone else, but not for me. Love was out to get me. You better believe it. You better believe love is out to get us. And he's trying to prove it by his sacrifice on the cross. Love is out to get us. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. That's what happens when you're looking for it in all the wrong places. You're going to be disappointed. The world makes so many promises to us that it cannot deliver on. And we wind up disappointed and empty. Then I saw his face. Now I'm a believer. Where do we see his face? We see his face in the person sitting next to you, in these little babies. See? Where do we see his face? In the word that was just proclaimed when the deacon incensed the book of the Gospels. He did that for a particular reason. He incensed the living word. The Word was so much alive that it became flesh and came to dwell among us. Where else do we see His face? In the Holy Eucharist when it's lifted high. Oh. 
I thought love was more or less a giving thing. Seems more the gave, the more I gave, the less I got. How many of us can say that that's been our experience with love? I thought love was more or less a giving thing, and the more I gave, the less I got. The more I gave, the more was taken from me. And I got to the point where I became so depleted that I was so empty, full of disappointment, and I lost my hope. That's what's going on in the world. What's the use in trying? All you get is pain. When I needed sunshine, all I got was rain. Then I saw his face. I'm a believer. Not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love, and I'm a believer. I couldn't leave him if I tried. Love was out to get me. That's the way it seemed. Disappointed haunted all my dreams. What's the use in trying? All you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, all I got was pain. Well, you know what, brothers and sisters? Today you get sunshine. Today you get sunshine because Christ has risen from the dead, and he loves you, and he knows you. Love is out to get you. I want to end with this quote from Pope Benedict XVI. He said this, Faith in the resurrection of Jesus says that there is a future for every human being. The cry for unending life, which is part of the person, is indeed answered. God exists. That is the real message of Easter. Anyone who even begins to grasp what this means also knows what it means to be redeemed. In other words, anyone who has this much of an inkling of who Jesus Christ is understands what it means to be redeemed. Love is out to get you. Love is out to get you, and I promise you, it isn't a giving thing. It's a receiving thing. And once you receive it, you will never, ever, ever be disappointed again. Happy Easter. <laughs>